Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Uh, I did a, a video, a UFO video, last week, I think it was. And I talked about the uh, unknown satellites. Go ahead and check out that video. When I was doing that video, I came across a name that I was unfamiliar with. Uh, a man named Major Donald E. Kehoe. And I did a little bit of research. This guy is a legend in the UFO community. Major Donald E. Kehoe. He really, really is a legend. One of the most successful and powerful groups of UFO enthusiast investigators was NICAP. The National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena was formed in early 1956 and was formally incorporated in October of that year. Now, here's where uh, Major Kehoe gets involved. He was elected their first director. Now, once he was elected, he assembled a board of governors that proved that he intended to take his position and the investigations seriously. This is what set him apart from other UFO enthusiast groups of the time and even today. This board that he set up included former CIA director Hillen Cotter, former Blue Book liaison officer Fournay, Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association President J.B. Hart Ramp, Hart Ramp. I'm going to say his name. I'm going to spell it H A R T R A N F T. Hart Ramp. I don't know how you pronounce that, but he was a very, very well respected individual, and everybody deserved to have their name said right. Another member was the Canadian Department of Transport Engineer Wilbert B. Smith. He also had a slew of ranking military officers and scientists. You could not have put together a better investigative group than this. And Major Kehoe was responsible for that. Kehoe sought public congressional hearings on the subject of UFOs. Unfortunately, those hearings never happened. Kehoe was invited to a number of television programs related to the UFO issue. On one occasion, in a live broadcast from a television studio, <clears throat> Kehoe tried to make a public statement on air on air regarding UFOs being, quote, real machines under intelligent control. However, before he completed the very first sentence of his lengthy statement, his microphone was turned off, so nobody heard it. This was an obvious move to censor him and any talk about UFOs. This was back in the 50s, so keep that in mind. Major Kehoe wrote a number of books on the subject of UFOs, including Aliens from Space and the Flying Saucer Conspiracy. Major Kehoe was the first UFO investigator with serious clout and connections who was taken seriously by government and military officials. Here's one thing that I found extremely interesting. The Air Force in 1959 actually established a new policy to prevent Senate subcommittee hearings on UFOs in response, in direct response, to Major Kehoe's actions and pressure. He made them sit up and take notice to the point where they had to make a new policy. He made the military sit up and take notice of civilian agencies investigating UFOs. If that's not legendary, legendary as they do with the TV show my wife likes, legendary, you know, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> if that's not legendary, I don't know what is. This guy walked into, walked up to the military and slapped him in the face and said, you will listen to us. He wasn't beating around the bush. He didn't mince words. He said, you will listen to us. They had, they took notice and they didn't have a choice but to change policy to stop him. 
the fact that they did that tells is, is very telling. It tells a lot about the idea of UFOs back in the day. There was a cover-up. There was censorship on the, on the subject. We know that now because of people like Major Kehoe. Major Donald Kehoe is a true, true UFO legend in every sense of the word. Do some more research on him. He's a very colorful character, very interesting individual. If you get a chance, do some more research and put some, if you find any new stuff out, put it in the comments. I'm sure everybody would be would love to read it. I know I would. Ha. You folks have a good day now. God bless one and all. We elect cookie cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.